people are looking at you and you are making them feel or understand whatever it is that you're feeling just through what you're doing. It's those kind of people who creatively think that makes them artists. I think lots of people are artists. We're kind of all artists in some way. They could be scientists, they could be mathematicians, they could be creators of visual art, musicians, anything. They are probably the architects of society. They're the people that think of all the new ideas. Creativity and how it can benefit people and empower people and connect between age groups, cultures. It can be harnessed to bring people together. And that's something I really like to do with my art. It feels like it humbles you in some way. Yeah, it humbles your ego a little bit to an artwork. The patience takes a lot quite a lot of determination to like not be disheartened when something doesn't turn out the way you want it to. You don't know your capabilities and or you know what your artwork's gonna look like. It's more of a feeling rather than like I aim for my work to be like this. It's more of like a expression of the energy behind it. Studio Upstairs is a therapeutic community, therapeutic art community. There are a lot of different therapeutic communities. We meet as artists in the studio and we all make art together. Uh, but the studio is for people in mental distress or struggling with mental health or well-being in some way. When you train as an art therapist, one of the things that comes up a lot is the opportunity for non-verbal communication and the power of that. And apparently, you know, body language and other forms of communication are more prevalent than the use of words anyway, we just think that we use, use words mostly in communication, but there's a lot more going on. But again, it, it depends on the, on the person, I think. Um, everyone will have their preference, depending on their art form, I suppose. For some people, words are difficult, certainly when it comes to expressing feelings and emotions. You know, what, what are they? They're incredibly abstract. I mean, feelings are sort of very much in our body, but they don't always have words, and we often use metaphor, like I'm under a cloud or I feel black. We don't always have words to define some of these things, and sometimes we want to show them in our body in terms of, sort of visual art forms that can really help people with that kind of expression. I've always had difficulty writing or like getting out what's in my head, you know? Some people it's easier for. But yeah, I mean, even to say like, if you hit those drums really hard, you're gonna portray a bit of anger or whatever. You hit them lighter, you know? That's just one example of a way that you can express how you're feeling. It's fun. You get pissed off a week and then I come here on Wednesday and play. 
and then I leave here feeling good, you know? And if you do that with other people, it's even better. Progression is key, and it also means that then you can learn how to express yourself better in a different way, you know? Get a guitar, start painting, I don't know, play a video game even. It's like people that complain about their jobs but do nothing to get out of what they're in. You're like, well, why? If you're complaining about it so much, change it. Like, if you're unhappy, do something that's going to stop you from being unhappy. We live in quite a passionless society a lot of the time, you know? It's like, go to work, come home, chores, and it, just take the time to sit down and uh, I just do nothing, just sit there, just sit on your sofa and just like look at stuff, turn the telly off. I don't know, go watch a gig, go watch some people perform or like something like that, as opposed to like, I want more money. It feels like my art enriches me in so many ways, but to be someone who isn't creative, is always kind of, it's always baffled me a little bit. Like, where do you get your kick from if you're not creative? It's an escapism, it's a meditation, and you can make so many connections through your artwork, through like-minded people. I think it makes you appreciate the outside world even more. Well, we all have to express ourselves. We all have to communicate. Um, we all have to relate. And without self-expression, there's no chance of that. We need to make ourselves, we need to continually make ourselves throughout life. How we are when we're five and how we are when we're 30 is not the same. And I think because we always need to remake ourselves, that self-expression is vital, vital to that process. And in fact, I think when it becomes blocked, we get quite ill. I think it's ingrained you know, within our DNA. So there is no way art will never exist. It depends what your idea of artwork is. But if we're talking about expression, then expression is everything. Um, it's, it's part of being human. You can go back many thousands of years and see cave paintings and see art as, as the basis of, I would imagine, every society. And they could be scientists, they could be mathematicians, they could be creators of visual art, musicians, anything. They are probably the architects of society. They're the people that think of all the new ideas and come up with interesting ways forward. So for me, when I think about art being an integral part of society, that's why it is, it makes society. Because without creative thinkers, where would we be? Thank you.